Hey, hey everyone, welcome to Spark Planner Life. We are here with the haul from Jet Pens, and I'm excited to show you all what I got and do some pen testings with these new ones. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start with two different G Boons from Kokio. Um, additional, I guess, accessories as you could say is this is a pat me pocket so these are pretty cool things is they are a calendar there's three of them so it would be perfect for a quarter so three months and they are little calendars that flip so you would start at the front and you would have the year right here and then these are whatever month it is that you could like circle it or whatnot. Then you have Monday through Sunday here and then you would list out the rest of the week. So if you know Monday's the first, you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then you do eight, nine, ten, and so on. And then when you flip it, these numbers would change because now it would be up here and then you'd write the same thing and then you have a little space up here for notes. So there's only one, so now it's little two spaces and then it keeps getting bigger and bigger as the calendar moves down. And so this is a really cool one because it also has the time. So there are some that um, don't do the times, but it's really cool how it kind of flips. And so I'm trying to figure out how I want to use this, if this is you know going to be used for work. So it'd be an overview of when I have meetings um, and things like that. But I haven't decided, but I just thought these are really cool and I needed to get um, the $35 for free shipping in the U.S. for jet pens. And so I added these on and I think they're really cool. The next thing that I have is part of the G Boon Techo. Um, this is the A5 Slim. This is the Idea Pack, and so you get two of them. So I have the B6 um, Slim size, which, to be honest, I think I think they're it's a little too small to write with. Um, I think I like prefer. Um, a standard B6 size instead of the slim. So here we have it. I mean, that's a good, you know, half an inch or so. Um, and I think I actually need the width. Um, and so I'm figuring out what I'm going to be doing with this, but just want to show the size difference. Um, so now this is an A5 slim. So I don't have with me actually let me go grab it it's in the other room just a stalogy a5 size for comparison so i couldn't find my a5 stalogy but i do have an a5 notebook and here we have it so this is the same thing about half an inch or so and i want to try the a5 slim because i think the a5 for me is too big so I'm thinking like this is an awesome size but at times I'm wanting more space to write especially if you know I'm doing notes and stuff like that b6 slim too small and so now it's like well what about doing the a5 slim size because here you have it it's roughly the same width as a b6 but now you have, look at the height you have. So then you could keep writing um, down the page. And so I, since I have the B6 Slim um, Techo, I was like, well, let me just get the notebooks and try this size out to see if I like it or not. So it has a line right here, which reminds me kind of of... Um, the Hobonichi Weeks where it has kind of this strip and then you have the, the pages. Um, and it's very small graph size compared to here. This is a Wonderland 222. So these are bigger boxes than this. And 
comparing here, these two are the same. So the both of the G Boons are the same size. But I was like, well, let me try these notebooks out because I think they're kind of cool. Um, and so this is like the steps for if you actually get like the full set, you get um, you get your planner size, right? And then you have an idea and then there's a third set that you get in the starter kit, which I just bought them individually. But so that's what I got. Try out that size. Interested to know if I like it. And then I got some ink. And this is such a cute size bottle is that I have one fountain pen that I guess I was using the wrong ink. And so I was like, okay, let me try this one. It says ink for pen, brush, and pen holder. I don't know what that means. But it said it's able to be used for fountain pens. Um, so hopefully this is the right kind versus, you know, calligraphy pens. But we'll try this one out. And it's a great sample size bottle. So now we are on to the best part is the pens. So I bought different popular pens in different colors and the colors are for the different, I guess, categories that I do my planning. Since I'm starting to do color coding and so I have here kind of my color code key. So I was like, okay, let me buy some pens that are I'm interested in trying in the different colors that I need. So we're gonna go one by one, we're gonna do some pen swatching um, and kind of show you a close up of them and which ones that I like that I would probably wanna buy more of. Okay, so the first one here is the Pilot G Tech C4. This is in the point four and this one is I would say more of a needle tip here. It's very small, very tight. Um, and how it's written, writing, it's it's a light pen. It's nothing special. There's no grip. It's just kind of um, little indentation lines. Um, it seems very cheap, I would say. Um, but I wanted to try it out kind of more of a needle tip one. So here we have it. This is the Wonderland 222 um, notebook. This is Tomomori River paper. So we wanted to try this. So I'm just going to be making some lines um, and trying it out. It's smooth. It's, I would say it's inky. Um, it doesn't smear, so it dries fast. And let me see if I can zoom you in so you could see it a little bit better. Um, the one thing I think is because this paper is so, um, I guess, thin. I'm worried that if I put too much pressure that it will, what is it called, G-Tech? Ooh, here, it's kind of went a little scratchy right there. Is that it's gonna poke a hole. So if you have this pen, if you have luck with this paper, awesome, but I'm a little worried about poking holes in it. Okay, now we're moving this. So now we have a happy planner. So I think it writes a little bit nicer. Pilot G Tech. No smearing or anything like that. So thicker paper. I think this pen's really nice. It's vibrant in the ink. Um, so, and this color is um, this blue. Can't remember what like the actual name for it is, but the blue is for my writing, which I'm hoping to do some more videos on that because I think that's kind of a fun thing that I do that's related to planning. Um, now we have the Zebra Sarasa clip. This is in one of the brown. Um, this is the point four. So I had the milky one, which let me tell you that thing um, would skip all the time. And I just, I didn't know why people liked these so much because I was, oops, this is zebra. I was having issues. Okay, I feel like it's, 
it's nice. It's a vibrant color. It writes fine on the Tomoe River paper. Now we're on the Happy Planner paper. I would say it's not a smooth ink. I feel like it's a little scratchy. Like I want something just to like flow, which I love. Like for example, like here, my Pilot Varsity, which is a fountain tip. Like this just like is just so smooth. Um, so this is okay. You know, I don't know if I would buy more of them. I don't know yet. I'll have to try it you know, writing more with it before I make the decision, which I think is going to be the case for everything. Now, here we have, this is the uni style fit here in the point three eight. And the reason why I got this one is that it comes in multi pens and I want a multi pen because it is so much easier than carrying like five million different pens. Ooh, I just poked a hole right there. So careful with this one. And I wanted to try it out. And let me just tell you, because I've been kind of playing with these pens, I think that this actually might be the one I like the most. I think it writes pretty smoothly for being like, look at like this thing looks pretty, pretty cheap, right? Um, but I mean, if it's, if they're more popular in the multifunction pen, then that makes sense why this is kind of a cheap body. There's no clip. There's no anything. Now we're going to the Pilot Juice. This is in the point three eight, it's the apricot orange color. And let me just say it's vibrant. It's inky. You could see it kind of glisten, which it's not picking up on the camera, but in the lights here, um, it is picking up. I do like it. It's nice. Um, but I mean, nothing, nothing special, I would say. Um, what is this called? This is called the Pilot Juice, but, which I thought was interesting. They have two different juice lines. So this is their juice one. Um, I feel like it's okay pen. It has a clip like the Sarasa, so that's nice. Comes in lots of different colors, like all the other pens is now we have, this is the Juice Up. Definitely more premium, like, look, it's a white body. Um, it doesn't have the clipping action, but it just seems, it has the metal right here. It just seems so much, you know, higher end, and I mean, it is more expensive, so you get what you pay for. Um, this is in what is some purple color. It's in the point four. They had different colors, and this is kind of, um, like a needle tip as well. And it's it's inky, you could see it glistening. I would definitely say I like this one better than the Pilot Juice. Um, so I mean, for what you get, it makes sense. Now moving on to the Happy Planner. It's nice, it's smooth. It's That's why I'm writing pretty fast because that kind of tells you how, how the pen, kind of works in um, fast paced environment. Like if you're writing notes, you want a pen that just glides. You don't want it to be skipping around, anything like that. So I'm putting them to the test because well, if you write, you know, super small and like neat and everything, like of course the pen's gonna be fine, but if you're writing fast, scribbling it, you wanna know your pen will not skip on you. And we have our last one. This is the Inball 1. This is in the point three eight. Um, this is a hot pink. And it is a clip as well. It's a white body. I like it. It's sleek. Um, and you have the little bit of pink, so you know it's the pink color. And it just looks like a normal, a normal tip. Um, and this one, I would say, is definitely um, inky as well. I like it. Um, and so I think it writes fast and it's great so and oh it's super vibrant so this is a different type of ink and i think that's why the color is so um saturated because of um the ink type that it is 
and it i mean it is it is expensive so you do have to pay a little bit more for it but i mean i like very inky pens and so i think this is pretty awesome so there we have it we have the different papers so we have the thin tomoe river paper and then we have just a normal classic happy planner which i feel like is i mean it's thicker than your copy paper but it's what most people would probably be accustomed to um in their planners so from these i would say right now i would probably not repurchase any more juices pilot juice um, there's nothing special about it. I guess maybe just the colors that they have, but I would probably skip it. And right now, I'd probably skip the Sarasa clip in the point four. So that could be also another is that the um, tip size can make a difference because these are smaller, which means there's going to be less ink flowing through them. So, you know, maybe the point seven is way better than the point four. Um, but right now, probably won't go for the Sarasa clip. Now from these, I would actually probably skip the Pilot G Tech. I think it's just a little too fine tip of the nib and I think it's just gonna be a little difficult. There would probably be more skipping because it is um, such, I would say, such a fine tip, even though it's 0.4, but just the needle point of it, I think it's harder for ink to flow through, but that's just my experience. Now from these, I would for sure buy more of the Unistyle Fit, but I will get them in the multi-pen. So I'm hoping maybe the next order I could pick whatever colors I want in the multi-pen. So definitely, I really like this. I think it flows very nicely. Um, and no issue with the thin, um, the 0.38 millimeter um, tip size, but I think this is a win for me. Now on these two, they both are very pigmented ink. Um, I think it just has to now come to dust to um, the different tip um, types. So you have more of a needle tip and then just your classic conical. Um, I think it just really has to depend on the pricing as well as the color um, options, whichever one from these has colors. I mean, from the 0.4 to 0.38, didn't notice any difference. Um, and I think for those, those are both wins. So out of these pens that I got, these are going to be my three top choices. And these three is not probably going to purchase again, unless I try a different, um, tip, um, millimeter for maybe doing 0.5 or the standard 0.7 so thanks so much for watching this new haul that i have of trying out new pens this awesome little flip through calendar as well as hoping to try out an a5 slim size um an upcoming planning session so thanks so much for watching and have a good one bye guys